Hi guys, welcome to another 5 minute tip. In this tip, I'd like to go over something that's a little bit different. We're going to talk about keyboard shortcuts. So Cinema 4D comes with a great number of keyboard shortcuts. There are shortcuts for almost everything. But there are a few things that lack a shortcut. For instance, the component selection toggles. So if I were to select a few polygons here, Let's say I wanted to hide them. Under the select menu, I can hide the selected polygons, which makes them disappear temporarily. And then I can go to the select menu and say unhide all, and they come back. And that's great, but there's no shortcut. I like to assign shortcuts for these, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and we'll see why it's so useful. Start by right-clicking some empty space in your toolbar. You can then click the Customize Palettes menu item. It'll open up this editor and take note that when the Edit Palettes checkbox is checked, all of these palettes are blue and you can actually drag the icons around. We don't need to do that, so let's just uncheck that. There are two really cool filter options here. You can filter by the name. So say I wanted to assign a shortcut to create a cube, I can probably type cube and I get a cube object. There's no shortcut for it right now. Or if I wanted to find all the shortcuts associated with the M key, I can just press M in the shortcut filter and all of these come down. Now we see some shortcuts have M tilde S. That means that you press M and then press S without moving the mouse and that's how you activate that command. So for instance, if I were to select some polygons and I wanted to bevel them, I can press M, S, and I get the bevel tool. So that's how I like to assign my shortcuts. But the first thing we have to do is find an unused key. That's kind of a challenge in Cinema 4D. A lot of the keys are already assigned. But there are a couple of keys that I know of that are unassigned. One of them is the semicolon. So if I search for the semicolon, you see nothing shows up. That's brilliant. So now we can assign our shortcuts. I want to assign a shortcut to hide selected, hide unselected, unhide all, and invert visibility. So we can just go, we can type in selected, and we get hide selected, and hide unselected. So once we select a shortcut up here, sorry, once we select a command, we can go in the shortcut box, and I'm just gonna type semicolon H. I didn't do it quickly enough semicolon H, and we get that semicolon tilde H means they're in quick succession. Once we have that typed in, we can just press assign. I'm going to do the same thing for hide unselected, so semicolon U for unselected, assign. I want one for invert visibility, so invert visibility, I can say semicolon I for invert, for invert assign, and then I want one for unhide all. So there's one here for components, and then there's another one here for, I guess, layers or objects. So we want the one for components. So semicolon P. I use P for previous parent, like previous state with all the polygons visible. That's just what I use. So now that we have that, we can actually, in the shortcut filter, we can type semicolon, we can see our four shortcuts right there. And now we have really quick access to it. So, if I wanted to select just this ring, this other ring, and everything in between it on the inside, I can select all those polygons using some of the other selection tools. Now, if I wanted to hide everything else, all I have to do is just press semicolon U for hide unselected. And once I've got that done, I can then invert the selection, semicolon I. So now we have everything but those polygons showing. Or I can press semicolon P for previous, but I have to be in polygon mode. So right there, I was able to sort of create shortcuts that make sense for my workflow. And uh, it was really easy to do. I actually created shortcuts like this for the paint tools and I made sure that they sort of match Photoshop's keyboard shortcuts. For instance, um, under the single quote,
key, I have brush, deselect all, fill layer, select lasso, select rectangle, clone tool, move layer. And these all sort of correspond to the exact Photoshop keyboard shortcuts. So I hope you enjoyed this tip and until next time, see ya.